Cloak. Not exactly a typical black metal name or metal name in the first place. Given that Cloak is kind of like predecessor of uh, Checkered in a way. However, this uh, band from United States of America is calling itself Cloak. And this is their second album, The Burning Dawn. Uh, this has been uh, around since 2013 and uh, both albums released through Season of Mist. As you can see, very, very beautiful and atmospheric uh, cover. It seems like, I would guess this is painted with some oil-based colors. I don't know, but I really like this. It looks even better when you have uh, your own eyes staring at it. And as you can see, this is a Digipack release by this four-man band. So uh, let's take a look what it has inside. The previous album is something that I missed, came around in 2017. So uh, that is something that I don't recall hearing, so I cannot really compare to that. So basically starting with this album from a very, very basics, without no prejudice, no expectations and so forth. But as it is, this album quite quickly took my mind into liking this particular album and why. Well, it's groovy, it's kind of a catchy, it's melodic, it's easy to approach, it's nicely pro produced, uh, good vocals and songwriting is very, very nice. Now, this is not exactly pure black metal, even though there are links to bands, say, Vatine and the like, given its melodic, kind of a easy to approach black metal and not of the rawest of styles. This Atlanta-based band is clearly doing something that is, would be called like a missing link between rock and black metal. Now, don't get uh, too uh, fuzzy about it, don't get scared. When I say rock music, I don't obviously mean the kind of a happy-go-lucky kind of things that is the kind of a light way of rock and roll music, but more like the darker aspects of rock. Even some occult rock may be something that could be related. Then again, there are also a lot of black metal influences with this one, and at some points this is just clearly black metal release. Well, not as such so much as a release maybe, but some of the songs and parts of songs are just black metal in the, I could say, Nordic way. So this is kind of an interesting hybrid, being a kind of dark rock and roll music and at the same time also flirting very, very much with uh, black metal ones. And maybe even so, this is even more a metal release than rock and roll release. But it's clear that these rock parts or rock elements cannot be just removed from the whole thing over here. Now, one band that came clearly to my mind when I was uh, giving this baby a few listens is the Swedish band Tribulation, that is also combining rock and metal very nicely together. But their bass is, you know, with their gothic kind of a style and approach, more into death metal, whereas Cloak is clearly tied to black metal. And yet, at the same time, these both bands have very much kind of a similar idea, similar approach. So, in a way, these are like mental brothers of sorts. So, if, for example, you are already a fan of Tribulation and like their music, this is kind of a next step where you should be looking at. I, for instance, I don't find any bands reminding me so much modern Tribulation, except this one. And Tribulation is good too, so I think there is kind of a link. I don't know, maybe it's just in my head, or I saw what it was figuring out until I decided to check out for Metal Archives to include links for this uh, release and review. And there you go, Similar Artists, by far the most voted band there is Tribulation, so it's not just me thinking of the same. Anyhow, be it Tribulation or not, I think you should totally be checking out The Burning Dawn. I think it's a strong release, it's maybe not the best of the year, or I could say it's not the best of the year, but without sounding negative because it's still solid release, nicely produced, nice vocals, good songwriting, and just overall, really nice, kind of a dark feeling with catchy songs. So there you have it. Be sure to check out uh, The Burning Dawn, and if you have a vinyl player, I would, I guess, recommend getting this on vinyl, because the artwork is just gorgeous. So, uh, hope you enjoy it. Take 
uh, look at the links below and you'll soon find out for yourself. Thank you for your time. See you and take care.